Ladies and gents, Ayato is coming out soon to Genshin Impact 2.6. But for now, we're trying to think of the best ways we can build them in Genshin Impact. And in my personal opinion, we do have an artifact set that we could grind in order for us to get a good Ayato straight off the bat. And this is the heart of depth set why the set might be good is because obviously it has higher damage bonus so if he is a dps character we could get a 15 percent buff on his hydro damage in general and here we have the four piece which increases the normal attack as well as his charge attack damage my personal opinion after using an elemental scale this means that you have to have some sort of elemental infusion just like you know tartag it has when you use the elemental skill you have this thing where he uses his elemental skill he does hydro damage now this is the only way it can be really good i don't see it being other than that and i mean if he has maybe like a buff skill that in his elemental scale where he you know he just buffs and then his normal attacks go off that would be an interesting thing but i think that's how it works so if he does do that this is going to be an incredible set for him other than that you can maybe run a noblesse set if he is sub dps or something like that so we're going to go into the domain here in order for us to get the best chance of the best artifact set now, the nice thing about this domain is actually it's like two pieces, right? You can get the Blizzard Strayer as well as the Heart of Depth. If you do have a character that does use the Blizzard Strayer, it's going to be a pretty good time. Now, if we do end up getting some bad pieces or now if we do end up getting maybe upgrades, we could actually put them straight up on Tartaglia here so we wouldn't, you know, technically need to have them on Ayato, especially if Ayato doesn't really benefit from that set. So we're pretty much going to be benefiting anyways from these guys right here or this domain in general here so that's going to be pretty good all right here's our first set here we've got oh, defense no 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 oh god that's not good oh this is gonna be a bad type ayato is the character or the type of character that does make use of the heart of death set it's going to be a pretty good time if we can already get his artifact set out of the way here but if they do manage to actually make a new artifact set for him you know that that's for the future right but for now we're going to try it out here anyway so if they do come up with an artifact set for Ayato in the future, we can actually try out both. We can do a comparison video. So either way, I'm going to be benefiting from this domain. So not to worry too much about that. This is the second set here. Come on, give us another three artifacts. All heart of depth. Please, all heart of depth. Please, please, please. No. No. That's not a good one. It's fine. Third time's the charm anyway, right? So we use this, we use that, or I get us some HP back, we use this, and we pop off here. Boom! We actually have our ultimates here, so we can actually clear this pretty quickly. And here we have it here. And boom! Alright, cool. Let's see here. Give us three artifacts, and let them all be hard of depth. I am summoning you, crit rate, crit damage. Do it. Okay, that's both our Blizzard Strayer and both suck. All right, here we go. This is the final run. Let's see if we can get anything today. Hopefully we do so we can actually move on and, you know, try to farm something else. But here we go. And got that done and dusted. Come on, baby. Three artifacts. Do it. Rate, rate, crit damage on these substats. That sucks. That sucks a lot. And they both suck. Damn it. Now we do have a few artifacts that we could raise up. For example, this one. So we're going to try our best here. I think this is the best option we have right now. We could try to level up this flower here. But I don't think that's very necessary. As we have this flower right here. Which is not a bad one at all by any means. This one is also not too bad. It did roll like once to HP percentage. But I think that's okay. So yeah, let's just roll this, try our best. I think we can only get to 12 here, but I think it's going to pretty much determine if this is a good piece or not. All right, come on. No. All right, we still have Kuraid in there. We still have Energy Recharge. This could be an okay piece if we do get like 13% Kuraid, right? Opium, I know, it's fine. I am willing to go through the, <laughs> the heartbreak of defense being flat there. So, all right. We have one more chance here. Come on. Give it to me. Mm, yeah, I think I should stop leveling up that one. That's for sure. All right, I'm just going to feed that one into this one right here. I just I just don't even want to see it anymore. All right, there you go. Go straight up in there. 
Uh, we need like two more artifacts. Three. All right, there we go. Okay, this one's actually one of the better ones. Okay, here we go. Put that in there. Boom. Let's see. Ooh, great. And elemental mastery. Okay. Okay, it doesn't look too bad right now. It did roll twice into career rate there. It's not the best rolls, but it is still there. I guess this is what we're looking at so far. Obviously, we don't have a good heart of depth flower here, but we could maybe find one in the future. We're going to still farm this domain a bit more. And we are looking at the weapons as well for Ayato. And currently, I don't really have a good weapon for him, as I said in a previous video. But this weapon could potentially be good if, it, if he does need a lot of energy, right? But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. I'll be doing more farming videos or whatever in the future as well. So make sure you guys tune into the channel. Subscribe. See you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.